It's another edition of the Trading Tips video newsletter, teaching you how to become a successful trader today. This video newsletter is brought to you by TradingTips.com. Welcome to this edition of the TradingTips.com video newsletter. In this episode, we'll be looking at the Arms Index, also known as TRIN, which is a breadth indicator for measuring market strength or weakness. The Arms Index relies on two other statistics, the Advanced Decline Ratio and the Advanced Decline Volume Ratio. So we'll also be looking at these. Without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so what is the Arms Index? Well, it gets its name from its developer, Richard W. Arms, who invented the indicator in 1967. The other name, TRIN, comes from Short Term Trading Index. TRIN doesn't seem to be a very good name, honestly. Arms Index, or TRIN if you prefer, uses two other statistics, the advanced decline ratio and the advanced decline volume ratio. It is usually applied to either the NYSE or the NASDAQ, but can be applied to indexes as well as exchanges such as the S&P 500. Now for some simple calculations. In order to calculate the arms index, we must first calculate the advanced decline ratio and the advanced decline volume ratio. The former is simply advances divided by declines, with advances referring to any stock within the given index or exchange that gained on the given day and declines referring to any stocks that declined. For instance, if 300 stocks in the S&P 500 gained and 200 fell, this would result in an advanced decline ratio of 3 over 2 or 1.5. If 100 stocks gained and 400 fell, then the AD ratio would be 1 over 4 or 0.25. Next we have the AD volume ratio, which simply takes the number of stocks up in volume and divides them by the number of stocks down in volume. Simple. And finally, the arms index takes the advanced decline ratio number and divides that by the advanced decline volume ratio. But how is the arms index, or TRIN, interpreted? Very basically, TRIN is less than 1 when the AD volume ratio is greater than the AD ratio, and this is viewed bullishly. When TRIN is greater than 1, it means the AD ratio is greater than the AD volume ratio, and this signals weakness. Here is an example of the NYSE arms index. Notice the red line at the 1.0 mark. Take a moment to analyze this before we move on. On its own, the arms index is extremely volatile. It may not be all that helpful in all but the most ultra short term scenarios. To give TRIN a little more life, a 10 day simple moving average can be applied to smooth the data. This allows for some further interpretations. Surges above 3 are deemed oversold and thus are bullish while dips below 0.5 are deemed overbought and thus are bearish. On this chart, we see the NYSE trend with a 10-day SMA applied. In addition to the blue line at 1.0, lines at the key levels of 3.0 and 0.5 are also highlighted. In order to use trend at stockcharts.com, you need to know the special trend ticker symbols. For the NYSE, the symbol is dollar sign trend. For the NASDAQ, it's dollar sign trend Q. StockCharts.com also has trends for the TSX and TSX Venture, but those are less commonly used. Unfortunately, StockCharts.com does not offer trend for other indices such as the S&P 500. We hope you've enjoyed this TradingTips.com video newsletter. Thanks for watching and good trading. This Trading Tips video newsletter has been brought to you by Manny Backus's First Hour Trading System. Every day there's money to be made in the first hour of stock trading. This is the world of day trading, not for novices, unless you have a system. The First Hour Trading System. Visit FirstHourTrading.com now and sign up for a free 30-day trial. You can make enough in the first hour of your day to take the rest of the day off. View more Trading Tips videos. Visit TradingTips.com. Sign up for our free video newsletters and become a successful trader today.